Well, the spotlight of the Depp versus her defamation trial has turned to attorney Camille Vasquez. Depp's lawyer has gone viral after her tough cross-examination of his ex, Amber Heard. She was even tougher on Heard's attorney during the redirect, objecting to basically every question she was trying to ask. Maybe objection, maybe. Your Honor. Lack of foundation. Okay. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Oh, objection. Leading. Sustain. What? I objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Objection, Your Honor. Leading. Honor, I'm entitled to go into what Ms. Vasquez is. The objection is leading. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. I'll sustain the objection. Well, let's bring in lawyer Harvey Levin, founder of TMZ. Harvey, it's great to have you with us. Thanks for your time this morning. That video of the redirect has been shared yeah. so many times. What were your thoughts during that particular exchange? I mean, it's really, it's beyond the exchange. Um, Johnny Depp's lawyers are outclassing uh, Amber Heard's lawyers. It's really as simple as that. I mean, this is not magic, what Camille did. I mean, th there, when you're in law school and you take an evidence course, you learn uh, the basis of objections, that you can't, you need a foundation before you can ask a question. Uh, you can't ask a question that involves hearsay generally. And so these lawyers knew their stuff and Amber's lawyers didn't create uh, the foundations and the testimony they wanted uh, that could be allowed in so the jury could hear it. So bottom line is um, Camille outclassed uh, Amber's lawyer. Period. And that's not the only viral thing going on here. We see Johnny and Camille hugging. What do you know about that? Because the rumors are flying. Could they be dating? What do you know? Yeah, I mean, look, um, we, we do know they're not dating. Um, she has a boyfriend. He's um, in, he's uh, I, he, I think he's from the UK. He's in real estate, so they're not dating. But there is a dynamic that goes into cases like this that last a couple of years before they end up going to trial, that clients who are desperate really for guidance, um, they develop a bond with their lawyers. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've mm -hmm. seen this over and over and over again. It's not unusual for something like this to happen. I mean, look, I'm not going to name names, but I know lawyers who get incredible thank you gifts from celebrity clients. Um, because they're so appreciative because not only do they help them navigate the legal process, they help navigate the resurrection of their careers, you know, if things are done properly. So lawyers are critical to these clients like Johnny Depp in situations like this. So it's not at all surprising that they're chummy. And yeah, I mean, you know, she, I think part of this, honestly, I think part of this is calculated so that the jury can hear what Amber Heard is saying, and it is hard to reconcile that when you watch a really kind of close bond between Johnny and a female lawyer. That mm -hmm. was not an accident. Mm -hmm. And I think having to reconcile those two things helps Johnny Depp. Camille clearly knows that. And I think that's what's being played out in court right Interesting. now. Interesting. Let's talk about what the jury might decide here. So if the jury finds that both engaged in abuse, does the Depp lawsuit like cancel out the countersuit by Heard, or who would that benefit? No, I think you're right. I mean, I think it's zero, zero. If they, if they decide that this relationship was just off the rails, which by the way, is a very possible scenario, um, if they say, look, both of them were going at each other, this was a toxic codependent relationship, I could see the jury saying, "Ugh, you know, both of you get out of this courtroom. I, I, that's possible. Um, and then both would end up ze with zero, with nothing. On the other hand, so far, the only clear evidence of abuse is an incident where Amber attacked Johnny. Now, if the jury finds even one incident where Johnny attacked Amber, if they believe it's credible, I think Johnny loses the defamation suit. But if they decide that Amber has no proof that Johnny did it, um, and there is proof on her side that she d at least committed domestic violence once, I think Johnny Depp could win. Mm -hmm. Just before we let you go, I'm just wondering, we've, it almost seems like a movie scene sometimes. There's been oh, yeah. a lot of drama unfolding in the courtroom. You see stuff all the time going on with this TMZ, but has anything shocked you in particular during this trial? Well, I mean, look, I, 
when I was a reporter with CBS in Los Angeles, I covered the O.J. Simpson case. And it doesn't compare to O.J. Simpson. I, I, really, nothing does. But there are elements that do. And I think it next to O.J., this may be the most riveting case I've seen in, in a long, long time. It involves sex, violence, beautiful people, betrayal. All of these things are like a real life soap opera. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the reasons why there are incredibly long lines outside the courthouse where people are flying from outside the state to go to Virginia and watch, why people are standing in line overnight. And you will see uh, made for TV and streaming movies on Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's marriage. I am positive of that. Mm -hmm. Well, it'll be so interesting to see if either one comes back from this and, and how their careers look after this. Harvey Levin, we love having you on Houston's Morning Show. Thank you for your time. Hey, it's my pleasure, guys.